All right, uh, lesson 2.2, here we have matrix multiplication. So, so far we've talked about adding, subtracting, um, and using scalar multiplication with matrices. Matrix multiplication is kind of on a whole nother level here. So we kind of have to try to stay organized. That's gonna be your best friend. Um, starting out, the first thing is making sure you can even multiply. So with addition and subtraction, you have to have the exact same dimensions. A two by three and a two by three, you can add and subtract. With matrix multiplication, what you need to do is write out the dimensions and then check to see that the uh, two middle numbers are the same. So for example, we have a, remember it's row times column, row times column. So we have three rows times three columns. Rows go this way, columns go up and down. So we have a three by three, and here we have a one, two, three by two. So because these middle two numbers here are the same, we can multiply. Now the cool thing is I know what my answer should look like because it's made up of the outside two numbers. My answer will be a three by two. Okay, so that's just how you would check really quickly. So let's do some examples just checking. Can we even multiply? That's, the, you know, that's important. Don't waste your time doing something you can't even do. So uh, letter A here, we have a two by one. So let's write that out. Two rows by one column, and we have a two by two. So if you look at the middle two numbers, they're not the same. This is not possible. Letter B, we have a 1 by 2 and a 2 by 2. So because we can multiply, or we can multiply because those two numbers are the same, and the answer is going to be, the outside two numbers, a 1 by 2 matrix. So something like this. We got a number here and a number here, a 1 by 2. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, letter C, we have, so let's start by first taking, this would be saying take matrix A times matrix B. Can we do it? So a matrix A is a 2 by 5 matrix. Matrix B is a 5 by 1. Because the middle two numbers are the same, we can do it. The answer matrix is going to be a 2 by 1. So something like that a number at the top a number at the bottom that's it <laughs> now it's asking us can we go the opposite direction can we take b times a well b is a five by one a is a two by five you look at the middle two numbers they are not the same so this is not possible and this brings up the idea of the commutative property which basically means you can flip the order and it doesn't change anything. For example, in the simplest form, three plus two is five. If I flip the order and go two plus three, I still get five. Addition is commutative, I get the same answer. Um, with normal numbers, three times two is six. And if I flip the order, two times three is also six. Um, regular multiplication is commutative, but matrix multiplication is not commutative. And commutative is like, you know, commute, travel. Meaning, if I take A times B, that does not mean I get the same thing as B times A. If I flip the order, I get something completely different if I can even multiply them. So letter, uh, letter D here, we have A. We want to take A times B, so we have a 4 by 1 times a 4 by 1. Again, look at the middle two, a 1 and a 4. They are different. Therefore, that is not possible. Second example, B times A. So B is a 4 by 1. If I write A, I also have another 4 by 1. Look at the middle. Again, it is not possible because those two numbers are different. All right. So let's find the product if possible so please check to make sure it's possible yes you're not wasting your time trying to do something that's not even gonna work out 
Um, so if I take A times B, I have a 2 by 2 times a 2 by 2. Because the middle two numbers are the same, I can do it. My answer is going to be a 2 by 2. <clears throat> okay. Here's how it works. So we have... <laughs> We have a lot going on. This is going to be kind of hard to explain over video, but I'm going to do my best here. So, here's what we're going to do. We are going to multiply row times column, row times column, row times column. I'll do my best here. I'm going to erase this top stuff here. Just to start with a clean slate. So, here we go. Start with the first matrix, first row. 2 and negative 3. We're going to multiply the first row by the first column in the second matrix here. And here's how you do it. So you're gonna start by taking the first number times the first number. Two times three is six. Plus, now you take the second number, negative three times two is negative six. Okay, and if you add those two things together, we get zero. So uh, we said my answer matrix was a two by two. So we got one, two, one, two. So we got four things we got to find. There's the first one. Okay, a lot happening here. Like I said, staying organized is going to be your best friend. Uh, now, so we went row times column and row. So now we're going to go the top row one more time. times the second column now to figure out uh let's see if i can make this make sense to figure out where it goes like in your answer matrix over here we got to figure out where they would overlap so they both have the top right corner in common so that means we're figuring out this position right here on our matrix again i'll get rid of that here to help us keep things straight so here we have so again take the first number uh, let's go two times the first number of my column. Two times negative two is negative four. Plus, you always add negative three times zero is negative three. So now you can go ahead and add those. Negative four plus zero is negative four. Whew, hopefully you're still with me. There's a lot happening here. Um, hmm. Okay, so we used we took the top row times the first column, top row times second column. We're done with the top row. Now we're taking this the bottom row, the second row, times the first column. Same idea, if you remember even what that idea was. Take the first number times the first number. So 4 times 3 is 12. Plus, take the second number in the row times the second number in the column. 1 times 2 is 2. Add those together, you get 14. And again, I knew where uh, my position was going to be because they have the bottom left corner in common. So that means I'm finding this one. Last but not least, and we kind of have a mess here, we're taking the bottom row times the second column. Oh, I'm kind of running out of colors. Good colors anyway. So we have... Four first number times the first number. Four times negative two is negative eight. Plus one times zero is zero. If you add them together, you get negative eight. So there is your answer with all that work. And you can see we have a few different examples here. Um, I am thinking that I'm only going to do probably one more. We'll see if the product exists on example four. But I'll do one more. Um, and then just kind of replay this we'll practice this in class a little bit when we get back but it's a, it's a tough concept organization is going to be your best friend so here we go taking b times a we have a two by two and another two by two because the inside numbers are the same we can multiply and our answer will be a two by two so let me get set up here quickly I'll give myself plenty of space to work, hopefully. So two by two means I have two rows and two columns. All right, and again, I'm going to erase this. So hopefully we can um, kind of keep this organized. 
So I'm going to take the first row times the first column. So to figure out where that's going in my answer matrix here, uh, we want to figure out where they have overlap. What uh, position do they have in common? Maybe be a better way to say it. Here we have the top left, and here we have the top left. So we are finding the very top left corner in our answer matrix. So here we go again. First number in the row times the first number in the column. Three times two is six plus second number in the row, second number in the column, negative eight. Six plus negative eight is negative two. Okay, give you a little time here. I'm actually going to go ahead and erase this. Maybe it'll make it a little better uh, if I go clean slate every time we find a new position. So now I'm going to take the top row again times the second column this time. And they have the top right corner in common. So that means we are finding the top right corner of our matrix. All right. So first number is three times the first number over here is also uh, negative three. So our answer is negative nine plus Take the second number, negative 2 times 1 is negative 2. You add them together, we end up with negative 11 in the top right corner. All right, give you a little bit of time here. Again, I'm going to erase. We are done with the top row now. We're on to the second or the bottom row in this case. Taking the bottom row times the first column. So we're taking 2 times 2, which is 4, plus uh, 0 times 4 is 0. Add them together, we get 4 in the bottom left, because that is the position they had in common, the bottom left corner, both highlighted. All right. Ooh. Clean slate. One last time here to find that last spot. Taking the second row times the second column this time. Um, yeah, we can see. Okay, so first number in the row times the first number in the column is negative six. Second number times the second number is zero. Negative six plus zero is negative six. So we started with the two, same two matrices. We had A times B the first time. We got this is our answer. Then we just flip-flopped the order. We did B times A with the exact same two matrices. And we got this as our answer. So what do you notice about A, B, and B, A? Hopefully you could tell me that they're different. Or they're not the same. Matrix multiplication is, here it is again. It's not commutative, meaning you can't flip the order and get the same answer. So order is very important here. Um, when uh, multiplying matrices. Example four, let's just see if it exists. There, there's a lot of work here. You'd have, if it does exist, we got, we'd have to take the top row times the first column. Figure out where they overlap. Top left, and that's the spot you're finding. And then you have to do it again and again. Again, there's a lot more steps here. Um, so, first of all, is it even possible before we even get into that? So we have a three by three. Three rows, three columns. Here we have one, two, three rows times one, two columns. Two numbers are the same. So yes, this is possible. Our answer is going to be made up of the outside two numbers. So we're going to end up with a three by two matrix. So something kind of like this. One, two, three rows, and then I need another column. So three by two. Uh, if you want to try it, go ahead. We'll probably save this one for class. There are some more examples here, finding just specific parts. Uh, we'll maybe talk about that as well if we get the chance. But that is all for this video.